So hey guys, uh, <laughs> and welcome to another stream with me, Supernatus. Uh, we were going to play the latest addition to Games with Gold. We were going to play Castlevania Lords of Shadow. But apparently that game doesn't allow streaming. I don't know why. I guess I'll have to research that. For now, here's a different game. Here's Alice, Madness Returns, which is still a good game. It's just not the game I intended to broadcast when I started, which is a little bit frustrating. Let me just check something. Make sure it's actually broadcasting. Because <laughs> I'm now a little concerned about that. But, I think... I think we're okay. Yes, we are. One sec, I just need to check something on my Mixer stream list. Okay, we're good. We're ready. Eventually. <laughs> yeah, a little frustrating that we couldn't play Castlevania. But we're not going to let that dampen our spirits. Let's see what awaits. What kind of madness awaits us. I have played this game before, so I kind of understand where we're going with this. Let's get on with it, as they say. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to put it on that just because I want to... Uh, I want to make the game straightforward to get through without too much difficulty. Subtitles are on, which is always good. And the old video settings. There's not really much that we need to adjust there. Just a... No, don't cancel. We're good. So yeah, here we go. We're playing Alice Madness Returns. Oh yes, and we also have the option of playing the original Alice game, American McGee's Alice. But we're not going to play that right now. We're going to play Madness Returns. Um, make sure all four symbols are visible where the left hand symbol is not. Now it is. Uh, I'm not going to invert my look because there's no reason to. Personally, I don't see any need to. So yeah, uh, it was going to be Castlevania, it's not Castlevania, it's Alice. Some people might say, who the... Mm. Anyway, there's the key. It's a key. It has a round bit at the top, it has a cross. And it has a lot of other keys behind it with various symbols, astrological symbols. Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. Is it though? It's me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. You're floating again. Relax. Yeah. I'm in hell. Forget <laughs> it. Abandon She's in hell. Memory. Not really. Unproductive. Go to Wonderland. Yay, it's Wonderland. I'm trapped. The land of wonder. I don't know, is it, is it much of a land of wonder when you're constantly worried about having your head removed from your shoulders? I don't know. Fire, fire. Go to Wonderland. Is this like uh, Total Recall? Get your posterior to Wonderland. Up the creek without a paddle. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the mm. first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Mm. Are you mad? <laughs> I'm not mad. <laughs> he, That's yeah. not right. He's just got a twitching eye. Something and the blood. So much blood. Red, 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 red. Struggle, Alice. And it's gushing. 
and it's spurting and it's oh my Yeah, not for not for the faint of heart, perhaps. Forget it, Block that dream. Wake at the sound. Quick, block out that dream before it rips. You're too late. Too late. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? We have no face now. There's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost. Well, that's not what's hard. happened. My memories make me vomit. What can I remember? Other things. I want to oh yeah, that's a good idea. Her memories make her vomit, so she should remember other things. What if all those memories set you free, Alice. make her vomit a too? Curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and and I will say again, the past must be paid for. Your psychiatrist. Now, before our next session, collect. And no doubt the sessions have to be paid for too. Very well, doctor. Right. I have to collect my medication. It's his turn to forget. Your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. The past is dead. Viva la future. Let's see, that's the boys' room. Does it? Well, that's... The toilet smells awful. That kid looks awful. Oh, we can look at something. My stories to the children bear strange fruit. Their drawings expose pieces of my mind. Yeah, that's slightly disconcerting, isn't it? Can't go through that door. That's uh, underwear, in case you're wondering. I don't know why you want to wear bloomers. What's going on here? These creepy kids? They don't talk to us. They just stare. Blankly. What do we have here? The girl's room. And one girl sits in the light of the window. I'm yep, past unfortunately. Terminal condition. It's a terminal condition, she says. That's not creepy at all. It's a room with a view and a dead goldfish. It's a room with a dead goldfish, yeah. And uh, a doll with a leg missing and, well, some eyes that you know, they don't sparkle, put it that way. They do not sparkle. Well, apparently I have to go into first person view, but I have no idea why. Is it just, was it just so I could talk to that girl? Or is there some other reason? Desperation wise. It's been so long since I did play this game that I've probably forgotten more. Little hopscotch markings on here. One, two, and I can't do the rest. These are some of the most horrendous looking children. But it doesn't matter. Let's get out of that first person view. Home, safe home, not sweet. They're not going to give you any uh, false hopes there. Abandoned toys and worn out shoes of a past, and the people who used them too. My past was consumed by fire. Good, it means you didn't have much to carry, at least. You know, always look on the bright side in that. The illustrated news feeds an insatiable appetite for domestic mayhem and industrial disaster. Fire at match factory, six girls missing. Is there anything more predictable? The world's gone quite mad. Well, at least they're missing, not dead yet. Alright, calm down you guys, what the heck? There's no need to be so cruel. These kids really are. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my 
drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. Mm. This photograph of my family was delivered here by post. No message, no return address. I'm grateful for this memento, but I wish I could thank the sender. Well, you could. No difficulty thanking them, you know, just... Say thank you and pretend they heard. Problem solved. Okay, so we've got a chest there. We can't open these trunks and chests. And we've got a chair. A nice old style sofa that looks pretty rotten, to be honest. And a unit there that's interesting. So yeah, not the most uh, salubrious surroundings, shall we say. And they're all talking about me. Which is lovely, isn't it? You see, I killed she killed her family and There we have this. This likeness captures the doctor's confidence. His dress is fastidi fastidious as bearing calm. Just shy of classically handsome, he likely instructed the artist how to render his nose. Perhaps he did. As would be his right if he's paying. So yeah, here we go. We're outside. We're going outside. Yeah, here's hoping. Right, so where exactly are we going? I don't know. Oh, this thing is killing me back. I call work noble, the bastards. Yeah, well they would, wouldn't they? Oh, I thought I could. I thought I could pass by and climb over all the broken rocks. I was hoping I could. Oh well. What's this? Machine-made corsets. Direct from Paris, guys. Really? That's what constitutes excitement around here? What else do we have? Rutgers Men's Outfitter. I don't think we need that. Dussauds, Chamber of Horrors. There's a title bout, apparently. It's uh, Lion Edwards versus Nick Horn. The fight of the century. Uh, we have a wine tonic. Revive, refresh, and restore. Get drunk. Yeah, all right. I like spaghetti? No? Whitechapel Market. Let's see what's going on down here. You alright, kids? No? She ever work? Where's her black? Too good for company? She don't get close. Hates being touched. Who likes it then? Never slapped. Might more like. Spanked? Slapped? Come on. We're going a bit overboard there, these guys, you know? In making. Her unwelcome. Well, it's a white cat, so it's okay if it crosses our path. As long as we don't trip over it, we're fine. And these ladies got anything to say? No. Hang off, Missy. Move along. Move along? What's going on down there? I'm on my way then. It's a woman with a very interesting. Most of them have uh, so it's like a cr mm, little kid looking at stealing some potato potatoes. They look like apples up there, but they do not look like apples down there. How'd you like them apples? He's got nothing to say. He's got nothing to say. The butcher. Too busy chopping up meat. I think that cat's uh, telling us where to go. Choice cats. Careful what you pick, though. Nothing going on with him. But this cat. This cat is leading us. Leading us to despair. That shop there is, uh, what does that say? 
Ever Toes Co. Unusual Specimens. There's a dodo there. Oh, just uh, doing their doing their business for the day. Pummeling criminals. He can run me in for being off my nut. Yeah. Follow the cat then. What's around here? I know where the cat's gone, I'm just looking around here first. All living things die eventually still, a creature's remains are always poignant. What kind of creature's that? Shark? Something... Oh, something with shark teeth. Anyway, the cat's here. Can't go this way, no? There's where you spend your hard-earned, uh... No, I'm not going to say that. I don't think this is the kind of real job I'd like to take, no. You can keep your real job, thanks. Okay, give him a kick and, like, wake him up. No. Does he? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you could hear that. You look like a disordered gent, and then she tells him to go and, you know, fornicate with himself. Essentially. Following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. I'm not sure. Is there any vice of chasing furry creatures into holes? Depends what kind of holes, I suppose. You could be a rat catcher. There you go. It's gone. Where is it? Has it just led us into something horrendous? It's quite frustrating though that we couldn't play the other game. Oh my. Don't look behind you. It's like Donnie Darko dialed up about a million times. If she looks away she'll forget that one's behind her. Oh no wait, it's not that. Like crazy rabbit bugs. I don't know. Well, I'm just walking. What <laughs> luck. Nurse Whitless. Out on your own. You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well. Not really. Doing fine. Come along home then. Mind your own business, you nosy old woman. Like you. I don't think so. I don't want to look at your pigeons. The rats with wings. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. I don't know. I don't want a mangy rabbit. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Doctor Bumby wasted it. Still hauling out. Doctor Bumby. The fire. Doctor Bumby. See, that woman needs to... No, you don't, because you're not the doctor. <laughs> These people are lovely, aren't they? Yeah, that doesn't mean she did it. That doesn't mean she actually did it, it just means she thinks that she's to blame. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. A donation? You just knock her off of, off the suit off the roof. What I heard. Why not just knock that old woman away somewhere? Put her away. So here we are. We're going to go and look at some pigeons, I guess. You alright, pigeons? Get on ya. I don't know. They're just pigeons. At least they've got some freedom. The coop is really just a cage, but the birds don't seem to mind. Well, I mean, they're not in it right now, are they? So... 
And there we have a view of the smokestacks of the Industrial Revolution. Or just this city. No, there's nothing for us to do. Yes, yeah, she does. As long as you keep paying her. Need a drink. What she just turned into? Ah. It's a manifestation of her evil. Push her off the roof. And down the rabbit hole we go. For the first time. Of many. We make a swift return. To Wonderland. So yeah, obviously we've been playing a few puzzle games over the last few days and I thought I'd do something a little different, something more action-oriented perhaps. Uh, Castlevania would have been perfect for that. Just means I guess I'll be playing it myself without any streaming apparently. Um, which is frustrating, but I guess we can go over it. And maybe I have to look into getting the PC version of the game. I think there's a PC version, isn't there? She's become. And then maybe that'll be streamable. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. Dominoes. They're not even lined up. Do you see that? Hello, cat. cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're Isn't she always? Edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no <laughs> at all. But you know I can be. I don't think I'm he's intent. Myself. To be any help. I was hoping to escape it's not wanting to help you. Abandon that hope. A new law. Like a cow head thing with wings. It's very rough justice all round. We'll you got a little red just there. You be on your guard. Absolutely. In the veil of tears, we must be on our guard. Look at this guy. All right, buddy. No, flying away. With your oversized head. Well, let's go. I'm trying to remember what we can actually do. I don't think much at the moment, just walk around. And these flowers will all open as we approach. And there we can recover our memory. I jump so well. Good. We do jump quite well, to be fair, and I think that our skirt helps us glide as well. I can't remember, do these do something when we jump? No. Just jump up and keep running. And there we have some more dominoes that will help, our, help us wander our path. And we can do that too. Which helps us just get a little more distance in our jumps. I guess I've got to go that way. As long as I don't go too far. A snail. And then we want to obviously got a slightly narrower path to take there and some crazy looking person over there who's just jumped away and gone if you leave, recovered another memory again, Alice, I'll about leaping from tables two times too reckless my girl two times too reckless is that four reckless no it's two times two no. Anyway, uh, we can jump on here and bounce, and just get straight on there. It's good. Oh, we've got a memory to recover, so we won't Amanita go on the thing just yet. Oh yes, Amanita Muscaria. Poisonous. 
poisonous mushroom. Living flowers that wave their ineffectual hands at us. And a potion being poured. Drink me, it says. I've been down this road before. And just what will it do to us? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. Oh, I'd rather not. My God, I'm shrinking in this potion. I'm shrinking. Yeah, but the probably. Is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it. I'm sure right. I can. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Exactly that. I get through that door. So... Let's get this first. Yeah, so you can see all sorts of stuff. The Red Queen and a picnic. We can't see otherwise. Which allows us now to go through this door that we obviously couldn't go through before. As you can see. More twirling required, possibly. Maybe not. Anything else to see around here? Not really. Giant snails. That's what we don't need. And some teeth. Hello, giant snail. Thankfully, he's not doing anything right now. So we can just be on our way. Through the passages. What can we see here? The devil. That's what we saw. And a, a hand telling us that we have to go this way. I thought we had to go the other way. I don't know. This looks like a ton of giant flower. Stool mushroom thing. Big slide. Well, that's a big one. That Onto this platform where we have to try and catch these teeth as we slide down. Sliding's not too hard. Just literally pull left and right. We got a gold tooth too. As we delve deeper into our mental state. We got the gold one. And there we go. Into the chocolate river. Like Augustus Gloop. Oh, look, creature skewered on the ground. The Vorpal Blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. What we want, we need our Vorpal Blade. I'll have that, thanks. Gimme, gimme. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certain. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get away with a, without one. If we could get away without a fight, that'd be great, but we know we can't. It's the Verpal Blade, it goes snicker-snack and leaves them dead, as seen in a previous poem. It inflicts the swiftest damage to a single target at close range.
And we can do that by smashing up these shells, you see. Let's get this. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice. But flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely. I will certainly try to choose my battles wisely, but to some extent I probably don't really get to choose my battles, to be honest, in this uh, situation. There's nothing there. Why are you telling me to come back here? There's nothing here. Uh, there's nothing to do there. The only thing I have to do is get past these shell things. And move on. Yeah, okay. I get it. Now. Now we'll actually fight something that fights back. And it's a creepy baby doll faced thing. It's not that difficult really of course because it's still a pretty early stage in the game. But there are more. Not so difficult though. Just monstrosities is what they are. As she says, something behind there. Is that that girl that we saw? Anything else of interest to pick up? No, let's keep going then. Deeper into the madness. Another memory. A flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose Dr. is Bumby. because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. Well, that didn't work, did it? Well, that did. Right, so we're going to have some areas where we need to uh, float. Good news is we could actually float further by doing that. So we can use it multiple times while we're in the air, which is good. Probably could have bounced on that straight away, that would have been better. Another memory to take. I wonder if we can do this. Yeah, easily. May as well keep pulling teeth and look. We've reached a house and in that house is somebody we don't want to see. It's the Queen. Ah, oh, it's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, it's an evil person. I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything so she only eats pigs now. Of course you do. Pig snouts, now, in fact. There are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need so she, now she she doesn't want to eat us. Girl, but we've got like a pepper your cannon thing. Why not season your own pig parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting. Our skin needs protection. Amidst the environment. But one gets peckish. From Look, the creatures. All you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Got ya. Got ya. So we'll have a pepper grinder. It's to spice up our foes. Here, savoury snouts. So they say. So yeah, um, pepper grinder. And we're looking for pig snouts. And we've also got like a bolter fly there. That's not a nice thing to fight. Let's 
see any more enemies, so... Oh, we're out. Well, that gives us time to destroy another one of their little houses. And the trouble is, when you're walking with that out, it tends to slow you down quite a bit. Any more? rid of that one. But there's another one up there. It's coming round. It can fly, but apparently it has to go round all the walls. That's not the same thing, is it? There's a pig snout. Keep an ear out for snouts. Once it's full of pepper, it'll reveal paths and collectibles. I don't need to go there, I need to... Okay. And where's it going? It's going back to her house. Where it's going to get killed. For its poor sign, you know, goodness. Do I have to go back to her? Or is that it? It would certainly appear that that's all I actually have to do there, so... Why not continue? More teeth! Because of course... Was it just one? Thank you so much for the snout. Now go away. Now I have to go away. One picnic basket. This is of course the Duchess. And we got some gold teeth from her. Let's go. Through this tunnel. There's another snout, look. Can we get it to go? We can. And it gives us a nice path. And some of those damn flies. If I can destroy their nests, it'll be a lot easier. One of them just fall below me. Go away. Destroy the nest, okay. Now hopefully we won't have any more of those things attacking us. Come on, kill it. Kill it with, well, I was going to say fire, but it's actually a sword, so... Technically it's a knife. Not a sword, but, you know. We'll let that slide. I think we're that way. Doesn't appear to be any reason to have gone here, to be honest. Other than to, uh... Well, I don't know, but we can probably get there. Yeah, we can. You mean calves? Ovine juveniles. Oh, look. Let's see if we can destroy that so that it doesn't cause us any more problems by sending us any more flies. 
No flies, please. There's another uh, pig snout. Which we can probably hit. Should I have done that from there or from over here, actually? Should have done it from here, as you can see. Fill it up with pepper. And it opens as another path, yeah, so we had to do that from there. So that we could open the other path that takes us where we need to go. But yeah, we'll need to get to that platform first. And this one. And there's a moving platform there too that'll help. Or hinder. <laughs> Perhaps. Oh wait. What's that? Something we needed. And our little friend, Alice, proceeds further into Wonderland. Now we're gonna get attacked here by those shadowy beasts as tears of uh, nastiness leak forth from the uh, statue that looks a bit like Alice. Oh, we're gonna get attacked by one there. It was no trouble. There goes its head, look. Rolling away. Oh, no, wait. I didn't even see them there. Didn't see them. What's over there? Is there any reason to go on that platform? I don't think so. Because I'm pretty sure I can't climb up there. From that platform. Wait, is there another pig there? No. Thought maybe we'd find a pig snout that we had to shoot that would allow us to get somewhere. Oh my! The whole world's collapsing around us! Uh, the only way we can go is down. Got another one of these. Does this stop? It does not. Wonder, can I just float down onto this? I can't. I can't. I just can't do it. Go somewhere else? Maybe onto that platform over there? No! <laughs> I thought I could, I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. We can kill some of them from here. Can't get that one. I just don't know. I thought I could go across there. I was obviously wrong. There we go, that's better. That helped us in a much better way than anything else there did. Way or this way? 
but I can't go that way because it's too high apparently. Okay. Now, we need to get, I think, to the left of that. Yeah. So that we can pick up another memory. The railway running through Wonderland sounds charming. About the railway. Noise and smoke, like steps and snails, perhaps. Best to forget that train. A mock turret yeah. conductor. Oh, no, I don't think that would do at all. I don't think it would either. But you know, it's better than nobody, isn't it? Thought maybe we had to go there, but yeah, there we go. Ooh, we're losing the trees. No enemies around, though. Make sure there's no pig snouts floating along. And there's that girl that keeps running away. Oh, here we go. You can be slashed. more of those continuously. We need to get rid of that fly's nest. Now I feel a bit better knowing that we aren't going to get any more of those. Hollow Eves or Eve. Gather these pearly whites to pre prevent your premature arrival before the pearly gates. So there we go. We can improve our weapons with teeth. Yeah, I'd like to upgrade my Vorpal Blade, thanks to the level 2 Vorpal Blade. I don't have any more teeth to spend. The train! I hope we weren't trying to catch that train. Hatter always hated mechanical malfunctions. This disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. Yeah, maybe he's gone. Could be. No longer required. Surplus to requirements, you might say. Can we wait for a train? Then two will come along at once, and you know. The Veil of Tears, Looking Glass Railway. Don't think we're going to see any trains coming there. Another memory. Sorry, that's a ball, not a memory. Need all the teeth I can get, thanks. No one. The only way we can go, really, is where the train fell. To that track. Why do we need to bounce? Well, of course, we need to bounce, because we're not going to be able to jump up there, are we? Let me just see something. The only place we can go is onto that platform over there. There we go. Is there somewhere above that we need to get to? No, it doesn't look like it. It is literally just to get across to there, but I don't need to bounce to get across to there, do I? I suppose it'll make it easier without having to use my gliding ability multiple times. Yeah, so it's an interesting world of things and all der derived from Alice's uh, broken memories. Well, let's just follow the train track through the tunnel. And it ain't a tunnel of love, that's for sure. It's a dark tunnel. Foreboding. And only getting darker. 
Oh, what's going on here? We can break someone's teapots. I hope that those teapots weren't expensive. I'm sure whoever lost them has got plenty of others to go around. Looks like some kind of arena to me. Oh look, we've got weird guys with teacups on their head. Madcaps, as they're called. It doesn't look like they react very well to... He's dead. Need to watch out, because... Managed to get them before they really do much, though. Oh, here comes one with a bigger thing on his head with a shield. I can dodge his attack. Let's see. Come on. Got him. Got him. No trouble at all. But lots of them could be an issue. These guys though, no problem. Well, as long as you don't get too hard. As long as you don't get hit too hard by them as you're walking around. Here comes another one of those guys. Here he is again. And I'm the wrong way. Of course I am. Facing the wrong direction. Thought I could hear another one. Anyway, we're going up there. So no worries. What's this? It's a robot look that's controlled by somebody inside it. Franken handles to move it around. Doesn't look like it's worked for a long time. There's some cages there. Where was that bouncy thing? Bouncy, bouncy. What did I bounce up to that? Is there anything on top of those cages before I just leave? Doesn't look like it. Try using shrink where the violets grow. And it will reveal hidden paths and clues. What does this do? Oh look there. So now we can go across this platform. Which we wouldn't have seen without our shrinking sense. I failed. Failed! I don't know if I needed to be shrunk once I was on the bridge. Maybe I didn't. Let's try and see. It could have happened that way. Oh, it's that nurse again. Mr. Cook. Oh, Crook. It says Cook, but she Dr. said Crook. <laughs> he rejects spontaneous combustion. Well, you know, I think he probably hopes there's some reasonable explanation for it. Because most of the time that tends to be, I'm there, a reasonable explanation for things. Right, it's one of those pig snouts over there. Let's shoot it and see what happens. What does it do? Gives us a rock that will let us get up there, I guess. Oh, we got one of these. There's a load more golden teeth inside. 
Just what we always wanted, to be harvesting random teeth. Okay. So that, that is where we want to go. What chance do we have of getting there? Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? We have to go to this horn and blow. Come on, send me a cable car. As much problem as that's going to cause. Send me that cable car. Yeah, so if you are if you are coming along looking to see uh, Castlevania, as you say, I will try and um, find a way to get that done. Even if perhaps it means recording it to put on YouTube. Oh, you damn cat. Much has changed since you last. Much has changed. Dr. Bumby says change is constructive, that different is good. Different not all change is constructive, though, is it? I mean, things can change in ways that are uh, more difficult than others, perhaps. Change can happen in ways where it's done so quickly that people don't have an opportunity to, you know, adjust. I've managed without you so far, Cat. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call yeah, go on. Bugger off. Are, they, are these flies not? These flies aren't very clever, are they? There's a hole there they can easily fly through. Yeah, we have to be quiet. As we crash into the wall of the palace here, building. I don't know. I've made more graceful entrances. I suppose I must be grateful nothing's broken. So yeah, um, some vents need to be activated by turning valves. While in the vent, you can rotate. To exit the vent, press A, or move away from it. That gets us there. <laughs> and then a memory about steam. It was. It's like that thing, you know, when you say, uh, when someone would say to you that you should always have two pairs of underwear with you in case you get hit by a bus. Now, thinking about that, that, that idea, and I know that I'm just overthinking things, but, you know, what exactly are you supposed to do if you get hit by a bus? Are you supposed to, just before you, you succumb to the, your injuries, change your pants? Don't really know. It's clearly not going to work though, is it? <laughs> Okay, so we got some more steam that will help us get onto these next platforms. Like I, uh, I should have let it get me right up to the top before I did that. So yeah, you have to be very precise with your steam jumps. And there's one of those guys there too. Rather not fall off if I can help it. So we've got another thing there. Some sort of secret around here somewhere. We've got some of those guys, look. But I'm not close enough to shoot them. If you're not going to come forwards, then I'll, uh... I'll just take you out like that instead. Okay, so what's down here then? Some chickens. Chickens? Look more like flamingos to me. Turn this lever. What does it do? It stops that. It shows me some other place that doesn't look very inviting. What's around this way before we do that? 
some sort of secret because we've got there's a locked door there oh no it's not locked so where does this take me oh to a memory or to a bottle or something is that all that's in here yeah it's just like a little secret room that will allow us to get a few extra teeth and things and bottles most importantly bottles I almost fell there because I wasn't paying much attention some rotisserie flamingos there might be vultures okay oh we can shrink and go through there I assume that's what we're supposed to do uh oh let's just try and take these guys out while we can oh he's coming come on then wait is that another one he's not very uh, quick is he Anyway, we'll turn on that steam. But I want to go to see if I can go through that 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 gate that was slightly raised before I do that. Whether shrinking will allow me to go through there or not. Looks quite nasty. Oh look, there's one of those guys. Well then, you're not so tough. Oh yeah, there's definitely a good reason to come here. Look, a load of boxes of teeth. Okay. Now we need to use the steam. I didn't realise these boxes could be destroyed as well. I do now. Okay, so we've got a cog. Oh no, why does it do that? He doesn't scare me, look. He can't skewer me with his fork. I'm not one of his rotisserie buzzards or whatever. I don't know what kind of birds they are. I'll say chickens, just because why would they be cooking any other kind of bird like that? Well, any bird could be cooked like that, of course, but... Of course, some people don't like cooking them, I understand. Okay, so I think what we need to do here is get on this steam thing. We can wait on the steam without too much difficulty. It won't we won't fall, we can turn. And then we can use that to get there. And then use this one to get here. So that guy appears from nowhere. a tougher fight. Especially because there's two of those guys. But he's not so tough either. It's just a case of dodging at the right time, attacking at the right time, opening the door at the right time. Right. And moving on as fast as you can. Oh, more boxes. So yeah, I mean, updating our stuff is always going to be useful. Uh, we've got quite a lot of memories unlocked. We've peppered 4 out of 14 snouts. Uh, recovered 11 memories. Haven't found any radular rooms, but because there aren't any in this level. Um, yeah.
memories. We've got a few. And that's all, pretty much. Oh, well, our weapons, actually. Can I upgrade this yet? I need 475 teeth to upgrade my pepper grinder. Okay. To upgrade my pepper grinder. It sounds like sounds like you're wanting to make it so that I can break it into finer sharp finer grains of pepper. I'm not locked on to anything, why? Ah oh. I didn't skip. Oh and I've just skipped too far away. He's dead, and now this guy's easy. Once that guy's gone. And we open another exit. And continue our journey. Into despair. That doesn't do anything. I don't really know what it is, to be honest. This is where we're going. deeper into this place. Uh, there's going to be some sort of secret here which we'll look at in a minute. Not entirely sure what the secret is. Aha! There's some platforms there. I think that's where it is. And then I think we know where the teeth are. We should be safe. The trouble is... Oh wait, is this? No. This is a different place and there's a memory there. My heart is open, Alice. Never closed. Never locked. It needs no key. It's fine, we can see where we're going now. Okay, so... Did I see more steam things? Yeah. We landed on it. I was a little concerned we weren't going to hit that for a moment. There we go. Okay, and then this way. I think we're going to have to go over there at some point. That's where we came from, isn't it? Oh no. There is a thing for bouncing down there. Let's turn this valve first. Where does that put them? Yeah, so that's going to go that way. So it looks like we've got a way to get back up there. Which means this is probably some kind of secret. Just really some more teeth. One of those other guys is there. Well then. Oh. I need to stop dodging too early. Dead. So we'll collect these teeth and then we'll go back and we'll jump across all those steam things. Plus, there's a memory. A brick house. Gibraltar? Isn't a brick house, it's an island. Very confusing. No, is that an island? I'm confusing myself now. What's over there? I wonder if that's anything interesting. Or if I'm just wasting my time. No, I don't think I was wasting my time. There we go. Oh no! I need to get back into that. Right, let's wait. Probably I want to get onto that when it goes down. There we go. And now we go across there and inside. Did I hear a snout? I'm hearing a pig snout somewhere. 
somewhere. I don't know where. Where are you, piggy? I'm not seeing him, which means he could be underneath me. Maybe when I go to that platform, I'll see him. Yeah, there he is. I'm assuming that'll give me a way up to this platform over there. Yeah. And then we can just come down. Gives us another bottle. Some more teeth. And a way back. Yeah, collecting teeth, destroying pig snouts. Yeah, I do like the way the wind when we're outside actually moves her hair. It's like there's a few layers that move separately, which is good. I'm talking about how how your character's hair moves. Okay. Onward. Oh, I hear another snout. I don't know where it is. Maybe it's inside. Definitely another pig snout somewhere. It's right under me, look. Can I see it? Can I get it from here? I'll have to go across there and then shoot back. There he is. And that gives me a steam platform. Where does that let me go? There's a place there we can go. I guess this is a secret, so let's do it first. Shrink down and uh, see where this is going to take us. Oh, another memory. I was resolved to an inferior and lonesome child. Her sister, though loving and much loved, was too old to be a Another memory, and uh, that was it. But we are supposed to try and find all of our memories if we can. And so we found 14 out of 26 on this level. I don't know if I've missed any. There's a good chance I probably have. It's about six o'clock, quarter past six. It's getting further past six. The longer we wait. Does it move to seven, I wonder? Do you think it moves to seven? Or does it just stay at six the whole time? Have they animated the hour hand? Or is it just the minute hand? Which is operating like a second hand. Given that that hand's not moving at all yet, I don't know why I'm even looking at this. Hey, let's do let's check clock physics on Alice Madness Returns. The answer is no. It does not. Well, this looks like an arena of some kind again. Oh my. I hope you're not scared of spiders because it's like an eye spider pop thing. Some kind of evil. Ooh. I see, we can shoot it in the eye. Which will allow us to which will allow us to defeat it. Eye shots, that's what we need. Eye shots. More teapots, Luke. I don't know if he's going to shoot red hot tea at us.
Got yet. No tea for you, buddy. Oh no. Got him. Come on. You failed. Must be another one somewhere, is there? Because he wasn't shooting hot tea as there's one, Luke. Guess we gotta go up there. It's like a lake of hot tea. Let's turn this valve and get up there and deal with that guy. We can go inside steam vents, but we can't deal with hot tea. Oh no, there's two of them. Might be more than two of them. Oh no. These teapots are annoying. Time for tea. And the door is open for us to continue our journey. What's over here? Absolutely nothing. Just a big open space that we could have fought those things in, I guess, instead of that tiny cramped space. Oh, what's this? The Cheshire Cat. So he can tell us that. Find him or my own time may be short. Well, probably. I guess we don't want to get caught in the tea waterfalls. So can I... We can't hit the tea, see? So we can't hit that tea. If we hit that tea, we have to start all over again. Ah. I already know what I'm doing, so just do that. See if we can get across there before... No, we can't. Oh, maybe I can lower it enough that... It... I obviously got off it too quickly. But... Yeah. There we go. Easy. Our time is well spent. Or something. But now what? Oh, now we can go onto that platform above where we were before. It's just a new area. I have to say, that platform does not look very stable. And we've got three things in front of us, so we probably won't be able to get to it that way anyway. Well, that was easy enough. What's that? Nothing to worry about. We're going that way, but what's down here? Teeth. More teeth. We're getting closer to the ability to upgrade our pepper grinder. So we can shoot out finer grains of pepper. I don't know. That's the reason. Seems like as good a reason as any. Is this a secret area or is this somewhere? Oh, we've got a memory there. Okay, and we have some platforms. That are not easy to spot, it has to be said. But we did it. Somehow we did it. 
and we got there. Bottle to collect, and we get out of here again. Going back the way we came. Good. Certainly haven't lost our bottle, as they might say. Okay, fairly straightforward path. I obviously need to get there as quickly as possible. Okay, oh, there we go. Thought for a minute there I was going to be stuck. Crushed, maybe. So that's opened as another door. Have we been there? Was that where we came in before? Yeah, it was. Oh yeah, because that was the door that we had to jump to, I remember now. Onward. So another slidey bit. Another slidey bit. May as well capture all the teeth while we're going down. Oh, the rabbit. That doesn't look like a rabbit, that looks like a bomb. Oh, but it's a bomb we can use to destroy walls and floors. Okay. Where am I throwing it? Somewhere up here? Yeah. Somewhere right about there. Do we need to use another one yet? Oh yeah, we will. We'll need to put one there. Good. Another non-working clock. No, wait. It actually went to seven o'clock there. We're in the lost and found now. And she's lost quite a lot. Can she find anything useful? There's something in there. Before I go anywhere, is there any way to get in there? There is, you know. Or at least there might be. Oh, was that... Well, that's just the way I came, isn't it? Yeah, so there was nothing else to see there. Okay. So we'll continue this way then. There's maybe a way into that from down here. That's the way out, I guess. It's a house on fire. Yeah, there's the way. I know the way. That's what the problem was. Of only a malignant spark and it was her father's love of paper that caused the house to burn down. And look, we're about to enter the memory. Through the fiery door. It's Alice's family. Our lovely library was a fire trap. Mm. A conflagration waiting to happen. Well, I mean, if everything had been put in such a way where it was safer, then maybe it would have been okay. And we have a key with a hook on it. And I think we're back in the regular. No, we're not. When my health is low, hysteria becomes available. Click the left stick. That helped quite a bit, didn't it? Oh, 
I don't need hysteria now because I've got health. It had to lower my health to like nothing in order to, to show me that though. That always annoys me, you know, in, in like tutorials and games I'll go. Like, oh, you need to do this, so you need to have no health. Even though up till now you've managed quite well. Okay, so I enter aiming mode with RS, as I expect, and I shoot the switch when it's red. Okay. I guessed that. There we go. That gets us where we need to go. <laughs> if I would, uh, you know, actually do it right. There we go. Who's here? Who's it? It's the rabbit. Oh, stop. Can't remember his name. Can't remember his name. What a silly thing to say. It's the Mad Hatter. Yeah, I would say some parts are definitely missing. What's going on? Through his eyes, up his nostrils, down his gullet, into his guts. Could be worse, right? Well, the looking glass lines now, as you say, are bloody shambles. A very bad train. He has no tea. Will you help me in return? Cross my heart if I had one. Button my limbs and toss them into the chute. Machines will do the rest. I have to toss his limbs into a chute. Best way out is through the cock face. Okay. I'll remember that. But first I have to smash a lot of stuff. I should be able to upgrade my uh, two little doors open. And absolutely nothing in them. Apparently. Well, there's these, but I don't actually know what we're doing with those. Oh, I, okay. I see. I can put a clockwork bomb on here to maintain pressure on the pad, which will keep that down, and then I guess I just blow it up when I'm ready. That'll maintain the pressure. Oh, I guess it... Did it on its own. Up we go, up to the clock face. Up and out. Are we about to hit a boss fight? Assemblage for destruction. Cranking up, pressing down. That's assemblage or destruction. We've got a, an umbrella. Parasol. So I can block with the umbrella while I'm focused. It's a menacing ruin. Take 
failed. Ouch. Well then, throw something at me. He's not throwing things at me, he's running at me. That's easy to avoid. The trouble is I can't see him from that angle. Got him. Not so hard. As a fir as first bosses go. Oh, there's a pig snout there. More lights. Where's the pig snout first? It was down by this one, was it? There it is. See what that does. Gives us a platform with a memory on it. Okay. How do I get to that? It's there. It's been years now, Alice. Time to put away Charles. Okay. There we go. Now. Same with this one. I guess. Cranking up and pressing down. Or... So what, we can do either? Smelling and regurgitating. We want to do first. Let's do this one. Is that his legs? Or is that... No, that's a little carriage that we're going to ride in. It's a teacup. And it goes down. Into the depths. That's because we have to look for body parts all around. Oh, the cat's got something to say. One sec. Sorry, just want to take a quick drink. Right, let's upgrade our pepper grinder. Excuse me. Yeah. May as well upgrade it too. Should make it easier to use. Okay, what's what's around here then? It's upstairs. Apparently they really care. Aha! There we go. That should get us out of here now, I hope. Work till you expire, they say. Isn't that what we're all doing? The industry thrives on suffering, obsolescence, and ruination, Alice. Obsolescence and ruination. Hmm. Consider a simple farm life in Australia, perhaps. We might liquidate what remains of your inheritance. I'll liquidate you. And then you're like a liquidator. Okay, well that... Oh, that's good. The platform's moved. Wait, was there anything else there before I... Before I just leave? Like, looks like there's maybe a platform up there I could have gone to.
maybe. No, there was nothing up there. Okay. Nice. So we gotta get up there. Somehow we gotta get past all of these ramming fists and smashing things. I wonder, what does that do? That locks those fists in place. So if I put a bomb there, it's timed so we need to be quick, but... Ah! <laughs> oh, that's foolish. We were almost there. I hadn't made a fool of that. There we go. I can get destroyed now, I think. We don't need to... So there's not one slamming on that. And it doesn't look like there's much else we need to worry about, so... Oh, how are we going to get across there? Did I do that prematurely? No, we did it. It's fine. Whether that was the way I was supposed to do it or not, I don't know, but... Good enough. What's down there? A little... I shouldn't have done this. Oh no, it's fine. There's one of those. Let's see what's in here. Memories. And bottles. All important things to collect. Supposedly. Get back up and go this way. There's one of those horrible sluggy things there. Another platform to leave my uh thing on. I'm going that way this time. Easy. Not a difficult route at all. And they've gone down again. I need to dodge into there. Close one. Hurt myself. So that raises these back up to the highest level, and that gets us out of here. Let's just keep running. Fast as we can. And we got out. Easily. They really care, she says. What do you think? I doubt it. Ah. The old teapot monster, eh? With his pools of red hot tea. They're quite easy to defeat, though. Oof, nasty. Ah! I just couldn't stop rolling. Is there definitely nothing else I can do here? Doesn't look like it. We're okay. There we go. 
We're all right. I don't think we'll have to do that again. <laughs> Slug. Dead. Okay. So I guess I need to... Oh, there's a thing there too. There's a matter I'm through. Ah! Silly creature. Had no chance. And we just continue. Because there's nothing down there for us to do. Oh my. Got myself killed there. What I need to do is stay away from whatever those are. <laughs> Dead. Now I'm to shoot that thing. Oh, have they stopped? That would be useful. Easy set, easy stuff. Some insects eat their young. They have much to teach us. Yeah, they do. Or dead. And we move to the next area. Still looking for the Hatter's body parts. Okay. Is that in there a duck? A dodo. Just thought that's what those birds were. They were dodos. Weren't they? They had to be. We got a bottle there, it was like gold. Don't think we're going that way. I honestly couldn't think what those birds were. And now I realised when I saw the thing about the dodos earlier. Should have known. I can shoot one of those things there. Whatever that does. Gives us more platforms we can jump to. I won't say they're dodos, but they're pink. Surely they're flamingos. I'm just not entirely sure why she would have flamingos in her dreams. Oh. You get lost. Yeah, they are, aren't they? They're like dodos, but they seem to have metal parts on them. Screws for eyes. Or they've screwed things into their eyes. I've... Either option doesn't seem very nice. Keep moving. That should give us a way to the next area. Yeah, I could tell that we had to go that way because, you know, there was a platform there. 
has to direct us exactly where to go. Where am I supposed to go now? Don't think I can reach any of those platforms from here. Is there some other way to do this? Oh wait, is that one of those red light things? Yes it is! And that should give us our way across. It does. There we go. Not a lot of enemies in this area, which is good, I suppose. It's mostly precise jumps and puzzling things. Well, except there's nothing particularly puzzling about any of it. It's just... Oh no, my persistence will be rewarded with pain. There's his legs, look. That's what we need. We need his legs. I don't want to feel like a lobster that's been tossed in a boiling pot. Oh, he's running. Oh. So yeah. We've got to find our way to him while avoiding traps. So we've got one fist that bangs straight after the other one. Excuse the expression. <laughs> okay, go. Ooh, that was close. Can I destroy those? That would help. Anyway. Those hands are not going to bother us now. The hands of fate? Manos. The hands of fate. There we go. Another route taken nicely. Screw you, slug face. Slugs, eh? He's making all those dodos run really fast. Oh, this looks like it's going to just be a bit more of a pain, isn't it? No, go away. There we go. So what's next? Wait, where are we going? Do we have to go all the way back? Oh, down there, I guess. And even that, we're too... Oh, maybe not. Well, it's not that way. Oh, wait. Yeah, it was down here, wasn't it? Where his legs are doing all that running. Ah, that side on view does not help me in the slightest. Okay, well, that was okay. And now what? Huh? That looks impossible. Oh, I need to glide further. Basically, as soon as that comes back, we should be okay. Yeah, easy. Destroy those so they're not going to be. Those fly things aren't going to be annoying me. And if 
all I've got left is this guy, then I should... Oops. Okay, there's way more of them than I thought, and there's also there's one of those teapot things. I'm gonna die. Can you destroy that? Oh no. I'm in serious trouble here. I can't do this. Ah, I died. Wow, that was hard. I think we need to try and get the bigger one down first. That was a little harder than anything we've done so far. Wait, do I have to go all the way back? Wait, what? Sent us all the way back here. That's annoying. So we need to do all those traps again. At least we know where we're going this time. I think we can skip that. Yeah. Okay, let's go. It would be nice if it would have just done it all again. Would have been nice if it had just let me go straight to the next area. Oh, I hit that little lip on the wall. See, look, if I die, it puts me there. And yet, if I die from the fight, I have to go all the way back. Oh my, that was close. That was closer. <laughs> okay, drop the bomb on here. And just run. I think we need to try and get that bigger one out of the way first. I wonder if I could use bombs on them actually. We can skip his little chat because we don't need to, to know anything about it. I probably could have, I just realised the way I did that before, I probably could have done it the other way, couldn't I? Right, let's try and be a little more careful. It's a rubber chute, which is obviously where we need to put his body parts once we've found them. Okay. There we go, and then go. Here we go. Alright, let's try something. I was kind of hoping that would do a bit more damage than that, but... Oh, he 